My name is Bob Turkletaub. I'm a professor at UCSD. I'm the chief of rheumatology at the VA Medical Center in San Diego. I'm originally from Montreal and I went to medical school at McGill University. And I've been in the, in the Southern California area doing research and practicing rheumatology for uh, the last 30 years. The nice part of research is that you change your focus and you grow. Originally, I started out looking at how uh, crystals that deposit in joints activate cells and how that promotes inflammation. And then we discovered that some of the same mechanisms that were involved in that were involved also in causing vascular disease, heart disease. And then I also looked at how these same sorts of molecules that drove inflammation uh, in response to urate crystals, which cause gout, uh, how they were involved in the degeneration of cartilage. And then we discovered that a lot of the molecules we worked on in cartilage were involved in calcif calcification of the arteries, which is hardening of the arteries that happens in old age, but also in diabetes and chronic kidney disease, and also in a disease called um, infantile artery calcification, generalized artery calcification of infancy. And my lab discovered a cartilage enzyme that we were working on that was involved in aging of cartilage. Uh, deficiency of that was central to the cause of this potentially lethal disease in children. So um, the work evolves and, uh, and basically I, I'm a cell biologist that, that, that takes an interest in what causes diseases and molecules that causes diseases. So what's unique about the ANRF is that it's an organization solely dev uh, devoted to arthritis research, unlike the NIH or agencies like uh, the Foundation for Aging Research, which looks at multiple diseases. And the fact that it's uniquely supported by the public is, is very important. Individual can speak out, be an advocate for specific diseases uh, that need more investigation that may be orphan diseases, uh, may be uh, diseases that are less common, have been paid less attention to because voices may be louder for heart disease or HIV or cancer. And so there can be the advocates out there for a pediatric uh, rheumatology research, for research into bioengineering of new materials to replace joints for stem cell projects and the like. And this is why individuals really should be involved in the process because they provide a voice and, uh, and in the case of the ANRF, the voice is loud and clear that people feel that uh, diseases of um, the immune system and of skeletal tissues that attack joints uh, have to be a major uh, emphasis for new research. And we see this in the clinic. We're stuck with people who have advanced diseases of the musculoskeletal system. We have limited therapeutic options. We really need to have more creative and innovative uh, research in these areas. So it's phenomenal that individuals get behind the ANRF.